This video is brought to you by Big Idea Design. If you're not familiar with them, they make really useful gear that you'll want to carry and use every day. They have things like the bit bar, which is a pocket screwdriver with a bit selection hidden in the handle, or the TPT and TPT slide, which are utility knives that also have tools built in. And they also have pins like the TI Arto EDC, which works with over 750 inserts. And my favorite, the TI Pocket Pro. They are all made out of titanium and built really, really well. To learn more about Big Idea Design, use the links in the description down below, and you can also use coupon code BESTDAMNEDC for $5 off any purchase over $50, and if you do so, you'll help support the show. Welcome back to the EDC Weekly, and guys, this is episode 20. That means that we've been doing this for five months now, and that's amazing. Thank you guys so, so much for helping bring this show back. It's been a crazy ride. And this month, this is the last episode for October, this month there were over 400 submissions. I thought that you might slow down once I launched the website and put it behind a registration. And uh, nope, nope, you guys sped up. You, I, got, I got more submissions. So uh, here we are. I asked you guys over on the community post what you guys thought I should do this week. And one particular comment said that I should do your grandpa's EDC, and while there weren't enough to do that, it got me to thinking about something that has um, piqued my interest lately. I've never considered myself a traditional knife kind of guy. However, a subscriber sent me this. A Benchmade proper, it is beautiful, and it has quickly become one of my favorite knives. I also received this from the same person. This is a Boker Tech Tool, and this is basically like a German version of a Swiss Army knife. And uh, man, I love this thing too. This is like a Swiss Army knife with a pocket clip. Everybody wants that. Because of these two knives arriving in the mail last week, this whole episode is dedicated to traditional knives. Let's do the thing. First submission comes from Stretch Kev over on the website or Kevin Miller. And again, if you don't want me to list your name, you have to explicitly state that because I have access to it and it's just easier if I use real names and sometimes it's better for you if I don't. So just make a note of that in your submission somewhere. Anyway, Kevin has a recycled firefighters inspector pocket notebook cover and inside that he carries a field notes notebook as well as a CT Metal Shop Twist Bullet Pencil in raw brass. And inside that, he has a Forest Choice HB Pencil nib. His flashlight of choice next to that is the Lumentop IYP365 or In Your Pocket 365 pin light. And he also has a Mobius and Rupert Polux Concave Sharpener for his pencil. He has a polished basalt pebble from his hometown, as well as a key smart organizer and a Leatherman Micro, which he attaches together using a Nitize S Beaner. His wallet of choice here is the Recycled Firefighters Sergeant Slim Wallet, and the highlight knife here in the submission is the traditional Temperini pocket knife with copper scales. That is a beaut. He also carries a multi-tool, and that is the Gerber MP600 Bladeless, and finally underneath everything is a handkerchief from Hank's by Hank. Kevin says, I am a geologist by trade, so a rock background is a little more my speed. Sorry, no wood, unless you count the twigs. Those do count. I love the YouTube channel and all of the featured submissions. It's fun to see all the different takes on all the essential items, and I've gotten a lot of ideas on how to improve my own stuff. Keep up the outstanding work. Recently, I've had to switch things up and move away from the locking knife blades, moving to the UK soon and need a more UK-friendly carry, so I've gone with a more traditional pocket knife and a multi-tool that doesn't include a knife blade. I've had a few questions about multi-tools that don't have knives. I did not know there was a bladeless version of the MP600. He also says, I found I don't miss the blade in the multi-tool and the Gerber is TSA compliant. I still carry the Micra on my keychain because I can't live without those scissors. I have a Spyderco pin knife in the mail for a beefier work knife. Field notes are a must and I like the Recycled Firefighters cover. It and the wallet are robust enough to withstand the field. I prefer the writing experience of a good wood case pencil over a pin, so the combination of the twist bullet pencil and the Polux sharpener are a perfect combination. The Lumentop pin light suits my needs perfectly and it probably gets the most use out of anything I own. And the polished rock is something I've always carried from the place I grew up. It's something I picked up from the ground as a kid and I've had it ever since. Very, very cool and unique submission here. Of course, the, the traditional knife is something we don't see a ton here on the EDC Weekly, but we definitely don't see a pencil, a pencil sharpener and a polished rock. So very cool, 
Definitely speaks to your character and your career choice, Geologist, and a very, very awesome EDC. So thank you, Kevin. You now have a second entry into the October giveaway. Next up is a submission from Zosante. Uh, I don't know if you want me to share your name, so because you use Zosante everywhere, I'm not. It's Zosante on the website. You can find him on Instagram with the same username. And I actually shared this submission over on the website the other day. It's really, really neat. So first up here, we have the LG G6, which is inside that hand and hide leather wallet case. On the right side of the photo is the Dragon Cut Design Alpha Hunter Embroidered Number Two Handkerchief, which he did not mention, and I had to go look it up. Somebody called me lazy in the last EDC Weekly because I'm, I'm switching things up and trying to, you know, fix some stuff and figure out a better way to do the show and call me lazy. Look at this, I'm going out and doing the groundwork. I'm pounding the streets trying to find these things when you don't list them because I care, I care. <laughs> he keeps his keys attached to his belt loop using a Scout Leather Company copper Scout hook. And attached to that is a TI Survival Titanium split ring. Also on that is a key bar, which is anodized aluminum in purple. And then finally here, the highlight feature of this EDC is a very, very nice knife, a Great Eastern Cutlery number 38, and that is a Whittler Indian paintbrush jigged bone. And boy, it's beautiful. And that's coming from somebody who doesn't typically like traditional knives. Like it, it took a minute for me to, to appreciate the Benchmade proper. And this isn't even as traditional as that. This is, this is still pretty modern, but uh, it's a slip joint. But that, that's true. That's something my granddad would have carried. My great grandpa was all about case knives. This makes me think of him. It warms my heart. Thank you for sharing this. So Zante says, I recently got back into traditional slip joints and this particular pattern from GEC is great for light use like whittling and food prep. The craftsmanship behind it feels like I'm holding a piece of history. That's why I like and carry it. My keys are a variety of materials and hang from my belt loop with a scout hook at all times. And the handkerchief has a microfiber towel backing to help wipe off my knife or forehead when necessary. I really love supporting smaller American businesses and I love to keep it simple. And that you do, this is awesome. Thank you once again. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. The third submission this week comes from Isaac Bones and I have to assume that's your real name. That's your username, that's your handle, that's where you are everywhere, Isaac Bones. And the reason I found this is I was actually going through the list of submissions and I was looking for a bone handled knife because a lot of traditionals are bone handled and uh, I didn't find any except for the Indian bone from the last submission, but also you because your last name allegedly is bone or bones. First up in this photo, we have an orbit key and he says inside that there is also the orbit key multi-tool. His flashlight of choice, which is also attached to the orbit key is the Olight I1R EOS. At the very bottom of the photo are his Ray-Ban sunglasses. He doesn't list the model number of those and I'm not familiar with those. So if you know what those are, let me know. He also has the status anxiety wallet. And beside that, the highlight item of this submission is the Victorinox Huntsman with wood handles. I love the Victorinox with wood handles. He also has Nevea lip balm. And then finally, to the far left is the Swatch System 51 wristwatch. It's a very nice EDC, very simple. And again, I, I just love the wood handles on Victorinox almost as much as the ALOX, but still wood handles are fantastic. Isaac says, I recently got the Orbit key because I noticed a hole appear in my jeans pocket and it's been life-changing. It's condensed everything and is a pleasure to carry the Olight. It's so small, but packs a punch and takes up no room. Perfect for my everyday uses where I live in Western Australia. We have around 300 sunny days a year, so sunglasses and SPF lip balm are essential for survival. And the wallet is from Status Anxiety and I hate it. The card slots don't hold cards and the coins and cash have to go in the same spot. I'm waiting on a new wallet from Kickstarter. Until then, I'll have to live with this wallet. The Victorinox I bought this year in the Swiss Alps while on holiday. It's a little big for what I do, mainly use the blade or scissors, but having all the other options makes me feel more comfortable carrying it as Australia has laws about carrying knives. And this looks like a tool and not a weapon. The watch is not the one I wear every day as I love watches, but it is my favorite due to its cool design and the significance of the movement watchmaking. I also carry an iPhone 8 Plus, but used it to take the picture. I haven't found the perfect pin to carry yet, but that's my next edition with a new wallet. So there you go, another submission from Australia. Thank you. And uh, it's really cool that you picked that up while you were in Switzerland. I think you said you brought it, but I think you meant you bought it while you were in the Swiss Alps. That's very cool. You got it from the source. Very, very cool. So thank you, Isaac. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. All right, this next one is another type of old school cool. This one comes from Patrick K. And uh, I think you guys already can tell what this one's about. So first up, 
The very first item listed in the top left of the photo is the Opinel number eight. A very, very awesome blade. Cheap, you can't get anything better for less money. They're fantastic. At the very bottom of the photo is a Zippo in brass, and he also carries a copper Olight S Mini. To the left of the photo is a BlackBerry 99A1 Porsche design. He also has the L Letter Hamburg wallet, and his pin of choice here, of course, going with the rest of the theme here, is the Fisher Space Pin Bullet in brass, patinaed very, very well. He carries a Field Notes notebook, as well as a Victorinox Deluxe Tanker. He has that attached to the Victorinox clip. Finally, he has a Citizen Promaster Automatic Diver's Watch, and on that, he has a Horween leather watch strap. Lots of old school cool in this submission, lots of patina, and uh, you know me, guys, I love it. So Patrick says, I really like materials that age well, no kidding, such as brass, copper, leather, and wood. You know the way in my heart, man. But sometimes you just need a little classic like a Victorinox with red scales. I tried the Alox Pioneer, but switched back to the Deluxe Tinker because I like little tweezers and the stainless steel pen come in handy when removing splinters from my daughter's hands. The leather wallet is from a German manufacturer in Hamburg called Elbleder. Sure. No clue. My watch is a Citizen Automatic Diver's watch with a simple Horween leather strap. European knife laws suck, that's why I keep it simple and carry a standard Opinel number no. 8 carbon. And then I guess, actually, if this one is UK legal or European legal, it probably does not have the locking collar. Some of them do not. It's really easy to sharpen and an awesome slicer. The Ranger band around the brass Zippo is used to reduce evaporation of the lighter fuel and to make it waterproof. The Copper Olight S Mini is a new item in my carry and I love it so far. It is run by a rechargeable RCR123 from Olight. You will also see a standard field notes with a brass Fisher Spaceman bullet. My phone is a BlackBerry Porsche design nowadays, a dumb phone, but you can call someone and send SMS. This is gonna be replaced in the near future. Not pictured on my house keys and I keep a Leatherman rebar in my car. I have primary CR123s for the Olight all over the place because they have a great shelf life. And yeah, if you carry something like this and you have just a CR123 on hand and the battery inside dies rechargeable and you can just pop in a CR123. So people who say that they don't like the USB rechargeable lights, uh, this is the best of both worlds. You can do rechargeable or just put a CR123 in it. So anyway, thank you for submitting, Patrick. This thing is great. I love all the copper and brass, the Opinel. I love all of it. And the Blackberry just hits me in the feels because I got my start on YouTube and the internet thanks to Blackberry. So it's near and dear to my heart. I have many, many in my closet. Anyway, thank you, Patrick. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. So that wraps up all of the featured submissions this week. We do have five honorable mentions, and uh, here they are. All right, that's gonna do it for this week. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already so you're notified when I upload new videos. And to be sure to get those notifications, hit that little bell button beside the subscribe button so you are actually notified when I do upload. If you don't wanna support us on Patreon, you can just hit the links in the description down below many times. Those are affiliates and we get a little bit of a kickback and it doesn't cost you any extra. And I actually also mentioned our sponsor for this video, Big Idea Design, at the very beginning. If you click those links, those also help out. So yeah, click the links down below, those help. Every little bit helps. And uh, if you like this, stay tuned because I'm working on shirts. Do you like it? Do you like it? No, yes, no. They're not available yet, but I'm working on it. Anyway, with all that said, be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at BestDamnEDC. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at BestDamnEDC. Nope, you can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at CasperTech. And until next time, carry on.